Good evening. Be with you in just a moment. Oh, hello. Sorry about that. My dragon, Gianna, it's her late night snack time and you would not believe what a picky eater she is. I had to get a different brand because there was this mistake with the order and it's not as though I can't just not feed my dragon, you know? They don't like being hungry and have very little morals against eating people, even the hand that feeds them, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so the order got messed up and they were like, no picky, you keep that food and we'll get your other stuff ASAP. Which, great. Love the customer service, but the best customer service is the one you don't need to use, you know? All that is to say that Gianna is being a bit of a dragon diva and wouldn't eat it, and I tried putting some of the regular food I have left with it and nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I know, I know that she wants me to break out the human designated food to share with her, but that's just too bad. Hmm? Oh no, I just did a little spell to make it smell like her normal food, sort of trick her into accepting it, you know? I mean, it doesn't really change the taste, look, or nutritional value, but the scent is half the battle. And then I broke it up into little pieces and hid it around the back room so she has to go hunting. Good fun for her, and I figure maybe she'll be more likely to eat it since she works so hard. Yeah, here's hoping. Hey, I don't think I've seen you around. Are you new to town? New-ish still has new in it. Welcome to my shop. I'm Melinda, your local witch extraordinaire. Well, in some cases, other times my skill level is more just witch, but lead with your best, right? Were you looking for something in particular? How can I use my skills to assist you? Sure. I love people who browse. It's like a built-in conversational partner where I don't have to work and can just chat. It's great. Mm-hmm. Say, are you a vampire? You've got that uh, eternal and saddy look about you. Oh, I didn't mean you are sad. Just that vampires kind of have a bit of a melancholic aura, whereas, like, the fae kind always have a more mischievous or happy aura. It's not really the emotion you feel, just the general impression. Like, you can be a happy vampire, but the aura still has this energy of down. I think it's probably due to the being dead thing. Werewolves are, like, always buzzing. They've got that energy where even if they're standing still, their aura's all like, bzzz, and it's quite loud. Probably because they've got the two lives in a way, you know? Kind of like how witches and sorcerers and all those magic user beings, they have that crackly noise from the magic around them rubbing against things, but when it's the werewolves and other shifters, it's like multiple machines always running at hyperspeed. Yeah, it's weird. That? Oh yeah, it's totally legal. It just temporarily displaces things, like, let's say you were walking along and you always trip over a table. You just put a drop of this on the table and BAM! You walk through where the table is without hitting it. And the table will return to its spot in three to four hours. Nifty, right? Well, that's up for interpretation. Magic isn't evil unless you're evil and using magic, so you know, don't do that. Anyway, as a vampire, it would be quite suitable to you. How? Um, because you walk places, don't you? Well, no, it's not specifically suitable to you due to your current state of being a vampire, but it sounds more personable if I can relate it to a key feature of your life, don't you think? Oh yeah, I can do custom orders. That's my main thing. Actually, I'm a problem solver. Also, occasionally a bit of a problem instigator, but I don't usually mean for things to go that way, you know? Oh, no, no, no. I've still got my license. Currently on my longest streak of days without having it withheld due to minor incidences. Cool, huh? It means that I... And free to do whatever you need as long as it isn't against my morals, you can pay me, and it's justifiably within the realm of my license permit. No problem. Keep browsing, like I said. It's nice to have someone to talk to, especially this late at night. You can be my new evening friend. 
I have another regular who just comes and browses that I met a while back, helping them break a curse or two, but they usually come during the day. Since you can only come in the evenings, that means this time is reserved for you, my new friend. Oh hey, while you're browsing, do you mind if I use you for some market research? I've been wanting to expand more for all types of beings, broadening my stock repertoire, if you will. I find it's good to diversify. While custom work is where I'm best in the majority of my income, I still like to work on the shop portion of the shop with different products and such, sort of making sure that I have some more regular streams of income in smaller pieces. Does that make sense? Good, good. And I think you're a great option since you're newish to here. I do some work for a few vampires in the coven and surrounding areas, but they all kind of know what they want and get it, which Hey, makes my job easier, but still it takes a bit away from the market research because they don't really browse. So, how about it? Perfect! Let me grab a few things and you keep browsing. Okay, so here's an idea I had. Blood slushy. It turns any bag of blood into a slushy of blood, but you kind of need that part. The point is that you have to drink blood, but that doesn't mean it has to be boring all the time. And see here, I've been working on flavors. Um, I don't really have the flavors figured out yet. I've just made the spot on the label for it. I don't drink blood, so it's kind of hard to tell if I made flavors or not. But Evelyn, she's a vampire. She said she'd be willing to consider this invention if I didn't just make slushies, but could make flavors of it. We're still in the prototype phase. We as in Gianna and me. She's my sous chef. I got her a little chef hat and apron to make it official. Oh yeah, it's a picture of knights being eaten by a dragon. It's her favorite bedtime story. She was voting for like bacon flavored blood slushy, but I was thinking the texture taste pairing would be weird. Like bubblegum flavored fudge. It's disgusting and really weird and mind bending. Do not recommend. But on that note, what kind of slushy flavors would you drink? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wonderful! Those can fit on that label space easily. Oh, I'd sell it here and to Evelyn. She's got a lot of business, you know, so it'd be silly to not sell it to her and at least the bar, but it's also something I can sell direct from my shop, you know. Bring them in for the slushies and then pester them into buying more things. It would be gentle pestering. I want people to feel welcome and compelled to purchase things just for fun, not to only come to me because they've been cursed or something. Mm-hmm. Next item is... This teddy bear with bat wings. It looks just like a teddy bear with bat wings, but... Oh, wait, this one is just the bear and the bat wing. One second, let me grab the actual prototype. Ta-da! Okay, so like I was saying, it looks just like a teddy bear with bat wings, but... Here, hold it. How do you feel now? Better! It's infused with a good energy emanation, Kat and I were talking about how sometimes the transition is painful and all that, so I thought, what helps with that? Stuffed animals that promote good health. But, what if they do more than promote good energy and actually emanate it? And, it's got bat wings, so it's all vampire themed. I originally made one that's dragon themed because I thought, you know, it'd be fun to have a mini teddy bear Gianna, but she didn't appreciate the sentiment and started chewing on their tails, so we just kept the wings and made them batty. Do you like it? Oh, thank you. Oh, that's a good idea. I bet the werewolves would love a wolf one. Aw, I could make little werewolf bears. That would be adorable. Really? I'll definitely work on one now. What werewolf are you thinking of getting it for? A surprise. I mean, that's fair. I'm good with surprises, of course, so if you wanted to tell me, you could. But I also understand that sometimes you just want to keep it close to the chest for a bit. Oh, look how late it is. Are you still browsing or do you have to leave? Oh, fantastic. I just have one last thing to test. Sun replicators. They need a better name, but I didn't want to go with sunglasses just because that's what they're enchanted from, but if you put them on, here, 
let me help. Tilt your head over here so I can reach you. Yeah, it's like daytime. I mean, it's still nighttime and dark out, but if you look out the window, it looks like it's sunny out without, you know, the piercing heat of the sun burning you into a crisp. I can't sell them yet because I'm still working on a minor instability thing, so here, let me take that from you before we encounter that minor instability. Oh, nothing too serious, just sort of a mini explosion, which if it happens could melt the glasses and give you a semi-permanent awkward suntan. I know it doesn't sound too bad for what it does, but I've got this policy to not hand out items with significant, potentially irreparable side effects, especially something like this. But I'm glad you like it. I'll keep working on all of them then. Thanks so much for the feedback. You're great for market research. <laughs> I'll remember that. And you won't be able to forget it. If you want to keep the bear though, I'll sell that. Or we can just put it on Kat's credit card. Well, it's technically the coven's credit. They just come in and purchase things and then pay the bill at the end of each month. Helps with reoccurring costs and items purchased, you know. I'd say the comfort bat bear is able to be considered a coven expense. Eh, the coven card isn't just for the members. They take care of any vampires. And if they don't want to, well, then we'll just charge it to Evelyn's account. She won't mind, I'm pretty sure. She's done it a few times before. Especially if I can get the slushy working and give her a real deal. No, no. Go ahead. It'll be no problem. Happy to have a customer in market research and a bit of company. And hey, maybe next time you stop by, I'll have more things for you to browse. <laughs> nice meeting you, my new late night friend. Safe travels.